the Amazon. By far the largest tropical rainforest on the planet. Until the 20th century, it seemed untouched by man. Nearly 60 conquistadors and a few slaves took the only boat, leaving the rest stranded and lost in the jungle. Father Gaspar de Carvajal kept a journal as the survivors drifted down the Amazon. On New Year's Day, 1542, our companions heard Indian drums. The size of the tribal armies seemed implausible. As well as descriptions of battles, there are detailed passages of the people and customs of a huge indigenous population. We could see fine highways leading inland. And at a distance of three miles, very large cities that glisten in white. But this account was surrounded in controversy. Many suspected the chronicle to be fabricated, written solely to save the life of Captain Orellana. When the captain finally arrived back in Spain two years later, he learned that some of the original expedition had survived. Captain Orellana requested all the overlords come to him. And the next day, they came laden with food. Most scientists in the last century thought Carvajal's descriptions of plentiful food were pure fantasy. But what of the priests' claim of even bigger civilizations inland? The vast interior of the Amazon remained unexplored until quite recently. In the 16th century, Father Carvajal reported seeing large, walled communities. This village was fortified with a wall of heavy timbers. As well as fortified walls, Carvajal also claimed to have seen fine highways leading inland. From the village, there were many fine highways that led inland. The captain wished to find out where they led. He had not gone a mile when the roads became like royal highways. The idea of royal highways in the jungle seems unlikely. Again, Carvajal's record was accurate and adds weight to a growing theory that the Chronicle has been unfairly ignored. The idea of finding lost stone cities in the Amazon suddenly seemed possible. The Dominican priest described a number of the cities as gleaming white which seems at odds with the straw huts found in the Kikuru village. When the mud dries, it turns white. In the brilliant Amazon sunshine, Carvajal may indeed have seen these cities gleaming white. Gaspar de Carvajal's descriptions of walled cities wide highways and large civilizations match new scientific evidence. <laughs> 